Hey Capricorn, welcome to your general reading. This is your forecast. Okay, we're going to look at what's going on. We're going to look at what you need to be aware of. Take a look at the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine energy, which both could be within you. What's coming forward and get some Oracle advice. Okay, for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive. Some of what you see on this channel will just be non-traditional. Woo-woo. Okay, take what resonates, leave the rest. Those of you that are returning, thank you. The woo in me honors the woo in you. Okay, so for the collective, okay, happiness, sunshine, enjoying those last days of summer, right? really beautiful energy yeah you are feeling the shift you know that the season is changing there is transformation coming in and you're just enjoying it right changes of the season of life like there's you're like it's okay it's the seasons right you're not making a big deal of it you just know that it's shifting and that's how it happens and i love that okay so let's see what's going on with Capricorn, okay? Capricorn. And what do you need to be aware of? We're gonna take them all? No. Okay. Thank you. You are following your heart, but the beautiful thing of it with the Two of Fire here is I'm showing that you're getting it from a different perspective, okay? Um, it's like your heart is very connected into your third eye right now, and you are allowing that deep connection to get an overview, right? Like you're not just leaping forward, and as such, right? king of fire you are right aware of exactly what your heart wants which is a very beautiful energy now you also may be watching someone or someone is watching you i've got the hermit here with the king of earth perhaps it's really watching i feel like the King of Earth and the Hermit here are the same person. If you really, I don't know if you'll be able to see, if you really look close at the face in the Hermit door, it does look like exactly the same person. And so I do feel like whoever this King of Earth is, they're watching you, right? Like to see how you're handling things, what you're doing, if this is a work situation, like this could be a boss watching how you're handling a project. Um, if this is someone that um, is very stable in your life, they may be watching you, right? Like, are you going to get the hints, right? Like I'm leaving the keys out there. Are you going to get the hints? and approach me, okay? Now, what you need to be aware of here is that there is a lot of interconnection between you and this person. Like, you could have, you know, strange, like, connection between friends or family that you may not even realize. And Ten of Earth, though, is that it's actually a really good thing okay they're showing me that it's actually like this really beautiful magical part that's going to kind of unfold for you in this situation that just makes the situation better seven of water to the ten of water okay spirit is saying that when you get that overview right you will know the choice that will make you the happiest and when you do, 
okay? Don't be afraid if it's strange and unusual, okay? This one frog is jumping up here, right, to this toucan. Like, yeah, the toucan bird is really different than who I am as a frog, but I'm leaving behind this frog. I'm following my true path to happiness, right? So it's really about getting that view from the top and knowing exactly what it is that's going to make you happy. Okay, so let's clarify. Two of fire. Yeah, five of cups. Okay, there is a sense of you've got to let go of the things that didn't come to fruition. Okay, you may have had idealisms in the past, right? And you're going to have to see that, no, not meant for me, and that's okay. King of Fire, Ten of Gardens, Ten of Pentacles, again, okay, Ten of Earth. There's a lot of beautiful energy coming through this card. There's a lot of fruition. There's a lot of abundance. There's a deep giving back of Alpha Mama, of Mother Earth. Okay. Don't have any fear, right, when it comes to what's coming to you. Following your heart and mind alignment is offering you everything that you've dreamt of having coming forward. Okay, now the hermit here. Okay, seven of fire. I feel like the king of earth, right, is getting ready. Okay, I'm ready to finally walk through fire, to finally walk out from behind this door and actually say what I need to say. And with the king of earth here, Okay, yeah, it's going to be a new beginning. Ace of Fire, the Fool. It doesn't get any better than that. Passionate, scary leap forward. Okay, but beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay, Ten of Earth in what to be aware of. Okay, King of Swords. For some of you, okay, you've got... Someone within this connection, okay, that's not going to be happy with where this is leading for you, okay? Yeah, this is someone who is reflecting on themselves, Ace of Cups, right? Like, this could be someone that was a lover in the past. This could be somebody that just thinks that they're more adept at the situation than you are. Right? They don't like that you're getting the opportunity and not them. Okay, and again, I'm being shown that this is reflective on them, not on you. Okay? Yeah, because here we've got, all right, Queen of Swords, who is, all right, their Divine Masculine and their Inner Divine Feminine Okay, and there's the reflection between, okay? And for some of you, this could be your energy and their energy, but it's a reflecting energy, okay? Seeing themselves through this energy, they could have, you know, had a connection with you, maybe because of their mom. Um, they could feel like, Right? Like they're, we're supposed to be family and you're supposed to be protecting them in some sort of way. But this person, okay, they're having their own perspective. All right? Seven of Cups, again. Spirit is saying, King of Fire, follow your passion and your purpose. Right? You are sensing this new direction for the higher good, and you manifested this, right? All of this sunshine, all of this happiness, all of this magic, Ten of Cups, it's coming to you because you did the work, and you manifested this for yourself, okay? So, 
let's look at the divine feminine energy in this. All right, and we'll look at the divine masculine energy in this. Again, so divine feminine energy here. The sun and the two of swords. There's a transformation of the divine feminine energy. And it's a tough battle. Okay? If you have this need to care for this other person, this I'm feeling like this king of swords, right? If you, there may be this nurturing energy that you feel that, you know, this guilt pinging you that you're supposed to be watching out for this person, um, right? That the blindfold is about to be moved, right? You're about to see things more clearly from that different perspective. For the masculine here, There's the feeling that they expected you to do the work, okay? And now all they see is red, right? All I see is red because I expected you to do the work and you're not doing it. Okay, the sun and the two of swords. Okay, so here's the thing. You're gonna make a choice, but it's gonna be tough, right? Because it's going against some of that old programming within your head. But this choice, again, okay, queen of swords, it's creating healthier boundaries and it's leading your other half, like, right? Like, this is your own divine feminine and divine masculine selves. Like, it's leading you to this healthier level engagement, this stronger engagement, this stronger connection. The masculine energy here, again, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, with the five of swords in reverse. This person put a lot of impact into what this was supposed to be, what the connection was supposed to be between the two of you. Okay, three of wands, they expected you to fight for them. All right. Yeah, there's a filling here. Six of shields with the page of shields with the four of swords, right? You were supposed to fight for me. You were supposed to fight for me. I'm left with nothing, right? I feel like I've been brutalized. Definitely could be where this person felt like this was their divine partnership. And it wasn't, right? And here we have somebody with on the bottom of the deck with everything and the masculine walking away from this. You know, there's a lot of hard feelings in this. On the feminine side here, right? Again, there could be children involved or just inner children, okay? Healing throughout this and because of the healing, you're calling in your soulmate. Okay, that's why there's that higher level engagement coming in with this King of Earth. For the masculine here. Okay. Yeah, there's this feeling, okay, they need to learn how to love themselves, but they don't want to, right? They just want to like shoot you with this arrow of love and go back to la la land okay like i want to go back to when things were perfect okay i want to go back to when things were the way that i liked them 
Now the emotion here, okay, from the Divine Feminine is there's a little bit of, you know, fascination, bewitchment, okay, with this new energy that's coming in towards you. Uh, may just be somebody that you've been chatting up online because she's got the computer in front of her and there's this interest coming in. Okay, from this masculine. They're open, they're happy, they're interested. Okay, from the other side of things, whoever this other person, other masculine energy is, okay, they're in thought about this. Like, they really are, right? Very much Four of Swords, okay? I do love you, and I do not understand. Look at the bottom of the deck here, overwhelmed, okay? Maybe, and they're sitting in front of a laptop, maybe they are going to find messages between you and the King of Pentacles, okay? And I don't understand, how did this happen? Okay, the feminine, what do you want to say here? Okay, again, I feel like almost out of the guilt. Hold me like I'm the one, okay? Let me, let me let you down easy. Okay, the masculine here, okay, crack open my heart, right? I want this love. Capricorn, you don't know what to do right now. But I feel like you do. If you follow that heart-mind connection, the giraffe overseeing, having the full view, you do know what to do. Okay? So what else is coming forward for Capricorn? Okay. Okay, Capricorn. Seven of Pentacles, okay? Um, everything you worked for, bringing in brand new energy, okay, abundant energy, balancing energy, okay, justice, getting what you deserve, the lovers, okay, connecting in a way where things just align, whether this is work or love, it's all aligning, and if this is work, the transition will be very, very smooth for you, um, if this is love, there's still this little bit of the Five of Swords energy that's kind of hanging around behind you. I feel like it could be this person from the past that doesn't understand how you're moving on, okay? And the person, when I say they're finding overwhelmed, they're finding, <laughs> someone needs to hear this because that's when I get the asthma, okay? The reason, what they're seeing as far as messages, if I don't feel like it's secret messages, I feel like they're stalking your social media or your LinkedIn account and they're seeing communication and they're like, what? Or they're seeing that you're changing jobs or positions and like their head is gonna explode, okay? But it is divine timing, it is destiny for this change and you know it. Okay, you, there's the awareness, okay, third eye, heart and soul, and they want me to show you, right? Look at the fact that there's the reflection, like she's reflecting from her heart, right? Heart and soul, like I'm following my heart and soul, sort of an energy. Okay, the lovers, with the lovers, this is harmonious. This is everything you want. This is total alignment, right? Yeah, crown chakra. 
you know it. Okay, you're feeling it. You know that this is where you're meant to be, bottom of the deck here, right? Positive movement forward. I love that. So let's go ahead and pull in a couple of cards, maybe some direction here from the map oracle. Okay. Yeah, okay, someone's sad in all of this and it makes you sad. But, you know, you can't just stay stagnant in order to keep the peace, okay? Because there's those mushrooms again, right? That interconnectedness. You can't just stay stagnant to keep the peace. It is not how it works out, okay? That's not the way that we're meant to be. It's not healthy. Where are you at on the journey? here okay yeah you're on the quest I love that okay plunge boldly into life take the leap of faith take the two of fire okay go after what you know is for you be the bridge expand your consciousness to behold both worlds Okay, you're opening up a very spiritual connection here, a very spiritual space for you coming out of a very challenging time. Okay, that's a very, very beautiful energy. So let's pull a couple of cards from the Universal Love Oracles. Give you some love messages. Yeah, healing sounds, okay? Some of you are doing sound baths. Some of you are releasing old feminine wounds, okay, through all of this, and even some birthing wounds, okay? If you're not doing the sound bath, I highly recommend it. And yeah, hope, celebration. You know that you're going into this new space, this new world, this new day, exactly where you're meant to be. So that's beautiful energy, Capricorn. All right, I love that. So I hope this helps you. I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope to see you next time. All right, bye guys.